Welcome to Redbeard Entertainment. My name is BMAC and it's Mariner Monday. This is a day when we're going to be working on our Seattle Mariners franchise on Legend. Uh, we're playing every sixth game, so we're getting going through the pitching rotation, um, but we're skipping everybody's turn all the way through. So we're still at the month of April and we've actually only played two games in this 2018 season. And as you can see, we're gonna get our first start with Hisashi Iwakuma, who has struggled in his first two starts. CPU control, 0-2 with an ERA at 8. The calendar for the month of April, the Mariners are on a three-game losing streak. They dropped two of three in Kansas City, gave up nine in a shutout uh, back on April the 11th, and then after an off day, they started a homestand and lost to the Oakland A's 8-6. to That is where we pick it up. Hisashi Iwakuma is uh, a longtime Mariner. However, just last week in real life, um, Seattle announced that his tenure with the club is over as uh, he's been recovering from shoulder surgery toward the end of last season. And uh, Iwakuma has plans to pitch in Japan in real life in 2019. So he didn't pitch for the Mariners at all in 2018. It's a little bit of a stretch for me then to have him uh, in the starting rotation. But he outperformed others during spring training when we simulated through uh, spring training. So that's why we've got I Iwakuma in the rotation. And let's see how he performs against Oakland here. Doesn't really have a changeup, but he's got a slow breaking ball. Base hit, right field. Oakland's got a couple guys on, and Boog Powell is going to go first to third. Mariners late on the reaction there. Robbie Cano at second base, and a bad man in Chris Davis standing in. Back in on Sinker, base hit, that's going to be an RBI for Chris Davis, and Oakland leads one to nothing. It didn't take long, that's three consecutive hits for Oakland against Iwakuma. Not exactly smashing it, but it works and it gets a run on the board. The one two on Luke Roy. Got him. So Oakland gets two on the board. A Chris Davis excuse me swing on an inside pitch who went to right field, didn't hit it very well, drove in and won. And then we just tried to get a fielder's choice to end the inning at second base. And it was my fault because I thought there were two outs and there was only one and a run scored on that play. So Oakland's up two to nothing. And we got some work to do right off the bat. So here's Nelson Cruz, and we do need a base hit to drive in the run. The 1-0 to Nelly. Brown ball to third. Matt Chapman scoops, tosses, inning over. So D. Gordon leads off with a base hit, steals second, gets to third on the fly out to deep center. But Seattle can't bring him in, and we're through one, down 2-0. Big curveball hit high and deep to left field. Denard Span will run it down on the warning track. A good play for Denard Span. Two down, and the lineup turns over. Ground ball, third base. Kyle Seeger to second for one. Relay to first. In time, we got the double play, and a tough one at that. 5 4 3 around the horn. Needed that one. Iwakuma has struggled against this part of the order so far. The pitch. Ground ball, base hit, RBI. Right up the middle. Matt Olson has extended the A's lead to 3 to nothing. It looked like Iwakuma might be able to get off the hook after the back-to-back -back singles to start the inning. PCI is not on the baseball, but Oakland just continues to be my nemesis. Ground ball, base hit through the left side. I think we need to go give a, a little quick pep talk to Iwakuma. 
hit hard right to first base. The ball's hit harder than any of Oakland's seven hits, but Houston's 14 and one to lead the West, followed by Oakland and Seattle, and then the Angels in Texas. Mike Zunino standing up. Six game hitting streak. Fantastic. I've always hit well with the Zunino card, even if the PCI is felt, uh, fairly small. I don't know why. High fly ball belted deep left center field, and that ball is gone. Mike Zunino with his fifth home run of the year. Make that hitting streak seven games. Seattle on the board. It is 3 1. 0 oh, 2 to Jed Lowry. Got him. Struck him out on a sinker that came back across the inside corner. The pitch. Curveball hit to second. Robbie Cano will throw him out. So Iwakuma finally gets a zero up on the board here in the fourth. Eight total hits through four innings. Three runs for Oakland. They lead 3 1. The 0 2 pitch to Matt Olson. Strike three called. Got him. Olsen apparently didn't like it. The 0-2 once again to Matt Joy. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Iwakuma back-to-back -back strikeouts. He is through five tough, tough innings. He's given up three and nine hits, but it could be worse. Going to the bottom of the fifth. Mariners need a rally. Probably the final inning for Hisashi Iwakuma here, trailing three to one. The pitch. High curve ball, hit high and deep to left center field, but not able to get a D Gordon. And that will be a double for Marcus Simeon. I believe that is the first extra base hit of the game for Oakland. That one was stung on a curveball that was left way up in the zone. So Iwakuma goes five and a third. He's still responsible for the man at second base. That is Marcus Simeon, the pitch. Fly ball, shallow left. Does Span have a play? He does bring it back. Nice play for Denard Span. Two down, and Phelps one out away from stranding that runner at second. Segura having a decent nap out here. And it hit him. On 2-2, two -two, it hit him with a fastball, got away from Edwin Jackson, and the Mariners have the tie run coming to the plate with the middle of the order due up. Cano hits a high pop-up right field. And that is the second out of the inning. Fly ball right field, but Piscotti hardly has to move, and the inning is over. Threatened a couple of times, but still they have just the three hits in one run. We're going to the seventh. It's getting late. Oakland leads 3-1. That one's in the gap, and that's going to be trouble. Base hit. Simeon's second double to the ball game. He's going to go for three. The throw to third is not in time. It is an RBI triple for Marcus Simeon. And the Athletics lead this one 4-1. Curveball and hit high and deep. Center field. That one's not coming back. It's a two-run home run. Matt Chapman's second homer of the year. Oakland's busted this one open in the eighth. It is six to one A's. Segura. Chapman. Great play. The throw to first. Unbelievable play by Matt Chapman. That's going to save extra bases and probably kill Seattle's rally. Unbelievable play from Matt Chapman. Pitch number 13 to Robinson Cano. And he hits a base hit up the middle and will drive in a run. What an at-bat from Robinson Cano. 13 pitches in all. I think he fouled off seven in that at-bat. Ground ball. Lowry makes a diving stop, but will go the short way. What a play defensively from Oakland. Mariners do get two, but that is it. Two left. We go into the ninth. Six, three. 
Petite's still out there. Figured they'd go to Blake Trinan, but... It is a safe situation. Seeger, high fly ball, deep right field, to the track, the wall, fly away, see you later. Kyle Seeger hits the first pitch at the bottom of the ninth, out of the ball yard, and the Mariners are within two at 6-4. Blake Trinan now steps in. He will come on. He does not have a save this year. He's thrown two and a third innings. Two and two now to Mikey Z. Slider and he got it. So Blake Trinan comes on and shuts the door. Kyle Seeger's solo homer in the bottom of the ninth does not get Seattle all the way back into it. Oakland finishes off a 6-4 victory. They won the first two games of this series in Seattle. So we're working through simulating to our next game, and unfortunately we suffer our first major injury of the season. Uh, Cameron Maven fractured his shin during the game, and he's going to be out for one to two months. So unfortunately we're going to have to put him on the disabled list. One to two months. We could put him on the 60-day DL if he's out for two months total. But um, I think we're going to put him on the 10-day DL. And then we're going to have to make a roster move. Our roster move corresponding to Cameron Maven's fractured shin is to recall Guillermo Paredia to the major leagues. We're uh, going to have to make some lineup changes and things like that. Uh, but Heredia is going to be at the major league level. We'll have to make a corresponding move to bring somebody probably from AA to AAA. And then fill out the double a roster as well unfortunately we weren't able to come out with the win in this one i am one and two on the legend franchise mariners are seven and eleven they've lost seven of their last ten games and you see that we're looking up at uh, oakland and the 18 and two astros as we have simulated to our next contest which will be a game at texas uh, it will be Mike Leak against Mike Miner, who is 0-4. So hopefully that gives us a little bit of an advantage. But that is going to be next time on uh, the Seattle Mariners franchise. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode. Please be sure to like, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.